Greetings translators. I want to show you a little bit about how to translate enchanting. So right now I'm in the enchanting folder and there's a front-end folder and one called locale. Normally it's got a bunch more files in it. These are the equivalent files from scratch. Here's scratch and there's locale. These files end in .po and there's this one called scratch.pot. This is a translation template file. These are the translated files. I'm just going to copy them from scratch here into enchanting, which is something you can do if you really mess up. Um, make sure to leave the lahost.template and lahost.exporter. <laughs> That's rather important for how enchanting works. Now I'm going to fire up enchanting. And we have all these blocks here. Oh, I'm going to go back to English. Um, let's, for example, configure a motor. All right, we get blocks here. Well, in order to translate it, you need to know what the block specification is. Right now, when I right-click, I get help on the menu. If I hold down shift and click on file, I can go enable debug menus. And then when I right-click on an object, I can get the specification. So the specification for this one is rotate percent %p to percent %n degrees, uh, yes, yeah, some of the characters are a little funny in this, um, and weight. And if I click on that, it will copy it. So I'm going to do that. Copy spec. Now then, what we're going to do is choose a language that we want to work with. Um, first, though, we need to update the translation files. So to update the translation files, go File, and Update Translation Files. Now uh, you had to click on Shift. What this does is all these new blocks need to go into the translation file so that you can translate it. And choosing that from the menu does it for all the languages that are known about in the locale folder. And I'll just show you more clearly what kind of change that makes. This program shows you the differences between files and folders. We'll look at the French-Canadian one. I ought to know a little bit of French. I studied it for years, but I'm afraid my French translations are going to be made up today. Now this concerns me a little bit that some of the encoding seems a little bit funky. Um, we'll deal with it as, as it's an issue. If you look, this file is made up of um, a message, a message string. This is like the block spec that we just copied. Ask percent %s and wait and, or sorry, that's the ID. This is it in English and then the message string is the message in your language within double quotes. Demande percent %s et tendre. And you can see there's a whole bunch of new things. Auto calibrate, battery voltage, calibrate. These are the new blocks from enchanting. So this is good. We will close this and we're going to open that file there in a text editor. Um, let's see enchanting front end locale French Canadian open with on the Mac I like to use a program called text wrangler on Windows you might use notepad, notepad or perhaps notepad plus plus or um, uh, programmers file edit so right I go to one of these blocks like rotate NXT motor to zero degrees I choose copy spec it's now on the clipboard now I can go edit and um, or search and find paste in the message from the clipboard find the next instance of it there it is and I can type in my translation note that the percent %p and the percent %n can go in any order they just have to be there and this degree although it looks like it's part of the percent %n is actually a separate symbol it's percent and then a letter and possibly a number if there were two percent ends, you could specify the order of them, but I don't think that's going to come up. So we will go like this. Um, okay, so we've got a percent in the N in there and a percent P. I changed the order and I will save it. And now we go here and we change the language. Here's French Canadian. All of these are still English, except that this one, for which we've supplied a translation. 
I might change this one, set the active speed. Well, I'll right click on it, copy the spec since the debug menus are on, go back to my translation file, find that, or bring up the find menu, paste in our new spec, then find it. Here it is, set the active speed. save it and um, nothing's happened here we need to change the language change it back to our target language and now we've got a translation here and um, interestingly enough every time you change the language it changes all of these blocks right away there are things in the drop down menu NXT motor here this was something typed by the user they got to name their motor so um, you won't translate that one, but for example, in this menu it also says NXT motor, or here NXT motor, RCX motor, you can translate those ones. Let's translate this, drives a direct current motor, an RCX motor named whatever, we'll copy the spec, drives a direct current motor, we'll find it, we'll type in our translation. Okay. Um, oh, and I was going to change these ones. NXT motor and RCX motor. NXT motor. We find that. Find RCX motor. And again, these are phony translations. <laughs> we will change our language back to French Canadian. I'm going to go to config motors. Uh, this one is now translated and the new things appear in my menu. So in like fashion you can translate most of the things here. There's probably a few missing. You can translate some phrases that appear in the menus like apply all updates to the environment. Um, I don't know that you can translate say run code on robot yet or compiling and stuff. But that's the basic idea. After you've made lots of changes to the translation file and are happy with it, uh, for now, email it to me and we will get in the, in the next release of Enchanting. I do need to warn you that you're dealing with a moving target. Not all of the translations, or not all of the English text is set in stone. But this is how we can start to get it translated. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.